Atlassian recently introduced a new feature in Confluence called Live Documents. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Live Documents, what it is, and why it's something that you and your team should definitely be considering. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and let's jump into Confluence. So here we are inside of Confluence, and I'm going to create a new Live Doc. And you do that by clicking on the plus create up here, and you're going to select the Live Doc option. Now, if you don't see the Live Doc option, there's a very good reason for that. These features are enabled on a space-to-space -space basis. In fact, they're actually enabled at the whole Confluence level, but most likely your problem is going to be at the space level setting. And so you might need to speak with your space admin. They might not be aware that they need to go in and turn on this feature and make it available. So if it's not there, it's not that you don't have it. It's no longer in beta. Usually it used to say beta, but now it says new. So this is a feature that you should all have, especially if you're in the cloud and your space admin or maybe your Confluence admin may need to enable it. Now, assuming you do have it, you're going to click on live doc, and this is going to create a brand new live document. It behaves just like a Confluence page. We still give it a title, but here's the magical part. Once I start typing, this is me typing. As you can see, it's going to behave very much like a page. There's nothing special about it other than the fact that when you have a friend, when you share this with somebody in your team or you copy the link and you send it out to folks, then when they jump in and they start typing, so I'm going to grab this share button real quick, copy this link, and I'm going to go and I'm going to call my friend and tell them, hey, let's collaborate on this document together. So they're going to go over, they're going to get access to here, and all they need to do is simply start typing as well. And so all of their typing and all of your typing and all of the collaboration between everybody immediately, just like a Google Doc, starts showing up on the screen. So you may be wondering, what's the difference between this and the page? Well, the live document is not requiring you to hit that publish button. In fact, our publish button is gone. There is no publish. There is no update. This is happening immediately, instantly, without having to hit publish. And so this is a really great feature when you just want to jump in and you don't want to worry about, oh, let me hit publish, let me hit save, let me refresh my screen because you get an annoying pop-up in the pages when you're collaborating that says, hey, Timmy, just publish new changes. Hit refresh to get them. And now you got to redo a bunch of work because all that work has been overwritten by something that Jimmy did. And so you don't have to deal with any of that. This just works. And like I said, it's just like a regular Confluence table. So you still have the ability here to to do your macros and you can come over here and type in your slash commands and you can add action items, you can add your images and files, you can mention people, you can add your table. So it just works just like a regular page. You just don't have to worry about doing the updates. And the other user, they see those things. They see everything as they're coming in. And so they're going to be clicking things, right? They're going to be typing in stuff as well over here. And very collaboratively, this is a header. And as you can see, and I'm actually going to put these side by side so you can see them here. I'm going to go this way over here. This is another header. And as you can see, there's a slight delay, a couple milliseconds, but you are going to be able to collaboratively be working together at the exact same time. And that, my friends, is the value and the benefit of the live document. So what do you think? Is this something that you and your team are going to use? Let me know down in the comment section down below. And if you are having trouble if you, for whatever reason, cannot find this live document, reach out to my good friends over at Release Team. They are there to help you out with all of your Jira and Confluence problems. No problem is too big or too small. So reach out to them if you need help setting up your Confluence or something just doesn't look quite right. And so that's it for this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And we'll see you in the next one.